SysRev offers a number of ways to import and even search for documents to review. Starting with the left, SysRev allows you to import PDF files in two ways, as individual documents or as a zip file. If I click View Articles, I'm taken to a filtered article page. Clicking on the document will show me the PDF. Turning on the single page toggle will cause SysRef to render the entire document at once, in this case 18 pages long. Alternatively, there are pagination navigation buttons to the right. Returning to the Sources tab, SysRev also offers two avenues for uploading titles and abstracts from PubMed. SysRev utilizes PubMed's API in order to offer a native search engine capable of handling complex search queries. But for now, let's just go with the more simple query, Angry Bees. Click Import and the five articles are also added to this project. Clicking View Articles will take me to a new filter. And again, clicking on any article, and I can see the title and abstract, as well as some metadata imported from PubMed. If you prefer to search the PubMed database directly, you can also upload a .txt file of PubMed IDs. Users can also upload titles, abstracts, and metadata in both .ris and .xml formats. That said, we highly recommend that users utilize the .ris format via the free citation manager Zotero. Briefly, the Zotero .ris export is very standardized and quite compatible with the SysRef parsers. Please see our video on how to use the free citation manager, Zotero, to convert XML files to RIS for more information. Just like with PubMed, SysRev also has native search engines for clinicaltrials.gov and the FDA drug label database. As you can see, the clinicaltrials.gov search has a number of filters to better help you refine your query. Once you are happy with your search, once again, simply import, in this case, the clinical trials. If you click View Articles, you can once again see the types of information that have been imported. The underlying format of clinicaltrials.gov is JSON, which is a hierarchical format. Each one of the elements rendered here is an element on the page for this clinical trial. While in its pure form, the JSON can be cumbersome, the hierarchy can be leveraged. That is, if you know that there is always an element called brief summary, you can easily search for that element. SysRev allows users to programmatically choose which elements are rendered, albeit that is for another video. If I warp back to the sources page, we can look at the next import type, FDA drug label. Once again, the FDA drug label search allows for a number of different filters, which can help you refine your query. Let's search for Olaparib, which is a type of PARP inhibitor. Select Import and View Articles, and we can take a look at this document type. A little bit of a combination FDA drug label consists of PDF documents along with JSON metadata. FDA drug label submissions are versioned documents, meaning that they are updated and changed over time, whether it's because the drug was repurposed or a new adverse reaction has been identified. The navigation at the top allows the user to access prior versions of a given regulatory submission. As I scroll down, I can see the submitted document itself and then finally at the bottom, I can see the metadata tied to the submission in JSON format. 
As you can see, Sysrev is quite capable at integrating external data sources. If you have a custom data source that you wish to review via Sysrev, please contact us at info at We can integrate databases such as FDA drug label or simply access a server or file of your choosing.